Um, maybe I should just leave that at the fault, right? Look at that, me telling the archers, like, you know, to the AI to control them, they actually switched over to the uh, skirmish line, horse archer line. Come on, shoot, you fuckers. What the fuck? I'm not sure if Land of Seeker mod was updated. It does have a, quite a few good ideas, but... As it is now... <clears throat> I mean, you can play it. It's, you know, has The idea is good. It just needs a lot of work. And it needs people who know English to actually help with the script and with the dialogues and all that. There's a lot of shit that, that doesn't make sense. But you can't, like, you know, hold that against them. They're, they're not native English speakers, the guys who made the mod. Having the whole the whole like quest lines and all that. That's pretty good. I am more excited about the Three Kingdoms mod. That you can check out on YouTube. The guy the guy or guys who are making it though like seem to like really go in depth and like create the whole new map and whole new scenes for it and all of that. Plus of course the characters and the models and everything else. I just wonder how are they gonna do I'm not sure if they said it, but I'm not sure how they're gonna deal with, like, uh, you know... This is gonna be Romance of the Three Kingdoms or Historical. I mean, you would have to have Lu Bu, like, kill six people in one swing or some shit like that. <laughs> you know? did lose quite a bit. Seven kill, okay, not enough. What a monster. Yeah, we do need to get uh, them to get uh, over 10 kills. Got a decent amount of... Uh, This amount of a reinforced hostile. I think I was using this one last time, right? Now nah, let's stick with the pilum. Oh no, look at this one. 52 pierce versus the 171. <laughs> or 74. If you use it, I think if you use it as a, yeah, as a one handed one. Let's uh, pick this up, actually. Have that locked. 
We'd have them all attend for their skills to actually be decent. The Linter Pony. I'll still leave some stuff behind so that they can our guys can level up. <laughs> I have no legs, guys. Yeah, this is fine. I guess we're gonna go to war like this. <laughs> oh, God. Who needs knees anyway? Screw that up. Uh, give me a second. Reset. Value. Give me this thing. Lock it. Now pick everything up. Archer Bracer. This does have quite a bit more... This this thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with that. No better helmet here though. Wait. Who needs legs? Deal 10% more damage. Deal 40% more damage with throwing weapons against horses. No, I think we're gonna go with that one. A friend of mine did ask me about like morale, but morale is almost never an issue in this game, for me at least. We do have... Well, this mod does have these guys, so I guess it makes a little bit of a difference. Oh, fuck. I was gonna go grab that city, but I guess not. Make peace with the Northern Empire already. Oh, fuck you, game. Let's try and take this real quick. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna have to take this somehow, then rebel against them. For my own faction. Otherwise, I'm gonna get pissed off by the AI too much. Some prison. Well, look at all of these we can sell. Nice. Schumer. Okay, I'm not gonna pronounce. Why do you even try to pronounce that? <laughs> it's impossible. Okay, let's pick up these horses. I think we're gonna need them. Yeah, 
Do you still have enough food? Let's sell a couple of these. We don't need that many of them. Let's see here. Uh, I think we can grab everything that's not grain and fish. We would need someone to take this so we can actually take it off. Because I don't know why. The, hmm, wait a minute. Let's go over here and see what happens if you raid the rebels, the rebel faction's village. I guess we can do this one. Let's we'll see if we can actually, you know, attack them. Of course you can because you know like a hostile action raid the village. God damn that's a boy. Why can't you just attack the rebels? It makes no sense. Come on, really? The rebels! Just kill them. Okay, for a second there, I thought the game crashed. I can't. Why, game? Why? Tempered Pugio. Alright, let's uh, see if... I don't think there's gonna be a better helmet that's like this one, I don't think. Maybe we can take this. I don't think the cloak's gonna be good on us. I have filled shoulder cape. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. But let's see here. Maybe I should just go with the glad gladiator helmet, right? This is a bit better than ours. But it's not wolf skin. Mm. There's... There should have been... There should be the empire, em or like emperor helmet somewhere as well. We're not seeing the full range of what they have. <laughs> Maybe they changed that around so you can't really get it from the uh, settlements. Let's go, let's go with that, so it doesn't look like we don't have any legs. Greek campaign? But the Greeks are here. You mean they are not here yet. 
Yeah, the Greeks are not implemented in the mod yet. This is Scythian. Well, Scythia with some Roman infantry, I guess. Let's see if you can declare war on anyone. Southern Empire, no. Southern. We have no chances to go with, to war with anyone. This with consumption by sending only while in siege camp, troop wages are decreased. Germanic people's update, yeah. I mean, the Thurgians are close enough, I guess, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, the placement of them it just seems a bit like. Mm. The irradiations. Like, it would make more sense if they switch the Batani or the Gauls to over here. This be the Germans, and this be the Dacians up here. Even though, like... Then again, like that would be just like wanting for the placement of the factions to be the same as in Total War Rome. Or as it was in the real life. Or as it was in real life, I guess. Well, I do wonder where they're gonna place all the Greeks as well. There's gonna be one pro-Roman Greek faction, one pro-Greek Greek faction, one mass. There's gonna be Macedon. There's gonna be Parthia. And that's it, I think. Yeah. So they need to add three more, f four more factions into the game. Then you can use this with the Europe map, but uh, the problem, I think, the problem with the Europe map, it's just there's a lot of empty space on it at the moment. So until it models actually go in and place more settlements and whatnot, uh, or actually, hmm. I'm not sure if we can use this with the Coloradia expanded mo expanded mod. No, there will be city states too. Yeah, that's Greeks. One pro Greek, one pro Roman, and Macedon. So three Greek-ish states, two Greek states and uh, our factions and uh, one uh, Macedon. Mountain range. <laughs> One hundred forty-nine. Whole army of skirmishers. A hundred villagers. What? Okay. I think Greeks and Greeks from the colonies. Oh, we can look at look at it real quick. Well, there's nothing happening anyway. Rising. I think you also forget the Illyrians. I'm not sure if they're adding the Illyrians into the game. Into the mod. You see here. These, they are Laconia. Will be divided into three factions. Athens, Sparta, and Macedon. Any feud, normal. Eventually, they will be integrated into the empire and will become the dominant culture by the time of Banlord. Our explanation for the shift from Latin to Greek Byzantine style. However, as a player, you will have an option to prevent this from ever happening. What would happen if Laconians never joined the empire? Yes. Themed on the Parthians and Germanic, which will be made up, up, up out of three tribes. Ah, like, like there's no point in adding Illyrians because troops would be kind of the same as the Dacians, more or less, you know? Or would be just a mix of the other, of like a Greek and a Dacian. It's like having distinct factions is way better than just... Uh, Adding in a, you know, a faction that's pretty much the same as the other ones. I guess I should just sit in here while I do nothing. It's gonna be 
Done it 28 days. And then we have everything fully built up. Well, let's just stay there and increase the lo increase the security, I guess. Can we declare war? Northern Empire, no. Tani, no. Southern Imperium, no. Looks like we're going to war with the uh, Carthaginians. I've heard that the place where the Dacians are here. Will be the Roman factions and the western bit of Britannia and the western empire will be Roman too. I mean, I think they should like look into like also like just maybe implementing the Europe map into it. So, it, you know, they literally just have the Europe map to work with. So they can add more settlements. Or like the, uh, like, like I said, I'm not sure if the Claradia expanded mod actually works with the... Uh, well, probably doesn't, right? With the Europe map. Because the Europe map doesn't actually just... They need it to, like, move each city specifically and village. Or move it around. That means mod does work. I mean, we will see once they implement all the factions and make changes. Like, I, I still say, like, give a... Give Ben Lord another year or two or the models to actually work on it and get everything done. Hello, a whole load of nothing. Still 11% to go to... Uh, well, I guess the non-aggression packs are kind of uh, fucking us over here. Now, I do remember once I do, did lower the... Uh, like the... I'm not out there. When I did lower the um, time for it. Faction creation influence cost. 100 maximum faction duration in days. Hundred twenty. Historic accurate. Well, we don't really need this to be historically accurate, right? Because only the Romans are called the Romans, right? Faction ten daily chance that a rebel faction. Maybe I should just up this to hundred percent. See what happens. Right. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We would need another two, one or two to join in. Another two clans to join in. If it's a hundred percent, then uh, if nobody else is joining in, there's probably not going to be anyone else to join in, right? Or if we quit this and join this, but that's only going to be a secession. We're not going to be the leader. Talked about Lemmy's Mall right now. Yeah, yeah I, I, I get it, I get it. I'm just over like thinking of what's gonna happen or what. If he support clans, was that there? Let me see, let me see this. Um, I might need to look into the diplomacy mod a bit more. See when ruler is devious relations. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Maybe I should support some of these clans a bit more. Maybe they join in. I'm not using Banner Kings, just Diplomacy. I feel like Banner Kings would conflict with the... Uh, you know, because they added all of this in, right? I'm not 100% sure on that. It does work with Eagle, right? It does work, you think? Like, I, I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to mess with it. But I do still have improved garrison. And some of the mods, so, like... Would it, like, conflict or something? Like, I don't, I don't want to add too many mods. Like, this is a shitload. Already. And I still didn't make the thing where it uh, has a list and gilded with it. We are gaining a decent amount of influence. I wish there was a notification when a party actually, like when a clan joins your faction here, to be honest. Okay, th because like this, I like I just don't know. Better time, yeah. Like, why would you not? <laughs> We're just waiting for war at this point. Like a, the better time mod is one of the better ones out there, or quality of life things, because by default, like this, is not that fast. Although you need to be more careful, careful when running through the map, in case you run into a bunch of enemies. So you want to be the faction leader? Yeah, pretty much. It would just make things a bit easier in terms of like declaring war and whatnot. Not like, you know, being fact. Like, I don't care about being factional either. I just want to not have the faction peace out one when we like only had like two battles with the other faction, you know. For whatever reason. Now, sometimes, you know, the, the like, you declare war on someone on the other side of the map, so, like, like declaring war on the Western Empire, like, like, why? You don't know, with, will Colorado expand work with this mod? Yeah, that was, that was what I was thinking, so I didn't want to mess about with it. Of course. Rebels. At least it gives us a chance to, like, actually... Ooh, look at that. Let's work on the engineering skill a little bit more. Why don't we have this amount of troops when we fight enemies? Okay, Gladius. Also, this is another weird thing I noticed. The like, look, look at that. One of the archer groups has six guys in it, and the other one has six hundred in it. Soldiers! 
Yeah, look at that. I'm not sure if it's that, that's down to like just the mods. Mess I mean uh, the uh, the realistic battle mod. I mean, you see the gladius in my hand. You know, like, oh, not this gladius, the scabbard. And then, and I can also use my shield while I have my bow out for whatever reason. Knights of Honor 2, Sovereign being released, I do have a stream on it. Very funny. Yeah, I streamed the Knights of Honor 2, Sovereign. I might continue that save as well. At some point. I do like the game. I like the first one, I like the second one. I'm not sure why it's getting reviewed. Well, it's not really getting reviewed, Bomb. But like, like a lot of people are complaining. Like, oh, it's something in between Total War and Crusader Kings. That's what it's supposed to fucking be. And also people are complaining about like a lack of content or like complexity or some shit. Like, but like it's made by small studio. It's not like made from by Paradox. It's almost a well, it is an indie game basically. What half faction have I chosen? Serbia, of course. Since I am Serbian, right? <laughs> Gotta play as my own faction, kingdom, as my own people at first start. I do have another campaign as Scotland. I conquered England and Ireland. Pretty easily. Normal difficulty, though, of course. Moravian Dynasty, Nemanic Dynasty. No, I picked the uh, earliest starting date. God fucking damn. Well, at least I think uh, they are the Nemanich Dino. Yeah, they are. Only enough, not a single one of my guys died. Cut down. Also, I have a problem in this game. If I turn off the realistic battle mod, the troops just get up the ladder and stay there. They don't move around. I might not continue that save because, like, the only problem with that is playing against Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, whatever faction there is in the Balkans. Well, except Byzantium, of course, and uh, Hungary. Is that you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like, you're literally in between Byzantium and uh, Hungary, which both can kick your ass in a matter of seconds. Although, I did have a shitload of problems with the uh, fucking. Sicilians and Naples. For some reason, they decide to fuck me up. Is this thing better? That is this sheep one? Okay, it's it fucking is better. Well, it's a nah. It's longer by one point, and uh, handling is better by one point. So they just revived the Serbian Empire? What do you mean? I am the Serbian Empire. Or I am Serbian. Or do you mean the form of, uh, you know, the like uh, formable nations or empires? Do you mean that? Because I didn't really 
conquer the territory you need for that. Yet, anyway. I kind of need the Byzantium and Hungary to blow up before I do anything. Easy peasy. Fuck. Hanging around in armies. No, I haven't done that yet. I didn't... Uh, I didn't conquer a lot of the territory. I only have like five or six cities. Something like that. That's close enough. Who are you? I basically abused the... Hungary or Byzantium going to war with Croatia. To take them out. You know, to take one of the settlements from them. And i gone over to Sicily. Or no, I actually claimed the inheritance, I think, in Sicily. Or did I take it? I can't remember. So I might, like, ca capture half of Italy. But they, I do have a problem with the culture shifting to uh, Hungarian and uh, Byzantium. I can't get it back. Over to Serbian. Yeah, what's up in coin? Sure. Where the fuck's the third guy? Ah, he's wounded. Probably. Let's see if we can deal with all of this with just this horse archers. Probably yes. Gonna be 11 and 11 p.m. in 30 in 30 minutes. Yeah, pretty much the same here. I'm supposed to wake up at 4 a.m. Why? <laughs> you work the morning morning shift. It starts at 6 a.m. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, man, come on. Don't go for them. Go for the uh, infantry. School. You, get, you wake up at 4 a.m. for school. I mean, my school started at 7.30 and I was waking up at 6 to, like, drink coffee and eat something. While I worked, uh, the place was a bit far away from town, so I was waking up at 4 a.m. to do the same before I go to work. Who has the balls to shoot me in the face? And hey, man, come on. School is fun. Or can be fun, depending on you, I guess. Oh, this guy's alive. At least you can't see the enemy. Ah, I see you. Hiding in the trees. Yeah, the I don't think the game shows retreating troops. When you hold alt. Tell me about your bread selling Vega. Yeah, you did. Did you learn the language finally? In the role playing uh, server?
Uh, we can sell all of this. Takes two weeks. Like, re real time, two weeks? Oh my fucking god. I wouldn't play in there. <laughs> Playing games like that doesn't require that much. Oh my god! Like, oh, uh, I guess did I did play uh, War Warframe, where you have to wait seventy two hours to get the uh, frame Warframe done. But that's a bit too much. It's a grind, but uh, you like to gr well. If you like the grind, play Warframe. I I'd say. New owner of that. All oh, right. Um. Hmm. Didn't like the futuristic games. XCOM was the good deal. Well, uh, Warframe's a grind for resources. It's a free-to-play game, so it's, uh, it's not like the same as XCOM. Uh, I guess that's a problem. We're not clan. We're not enough. Uh, we're not high enough clan to to actually maybe you know become the leader of the kingdom. Let's see if we can marry someone though. Do you have a wife or a daughter? I should say. He does, he has to. Married them. She's married as well. What's the second clan? Highest tier clan, I guess. Wait a minute, what? Ah, she's in Empire Lord. She just got married into the, uh... Our faction. God, since when did the finding a wife become so complicated? <laughs> Just, just straight up making bank, just making laps around town and offering people bread for four copper. Got like 500 copper in your purse. So what if you get robbed? Spouse. Oh god. Major should mean something in the game for diplomacy. Yeah, if you like, can, if you can like marry, like, Ira. The, she she is the she is the daughter of the empress of the Southern Empire. So she, she, he her marrying into our family or into our faction should have give us an alliance or some shit. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, what's up, Sammy? Maybe I should look into marrying uh nah. I could just ask the cl clan leaders, right? If they have anyone to marry. Reference uh, thieves type. got bored and now we're installing Skyrim. <laughs> oh, oh god, what is yeah. 
Like, I feel like if I download Skyrim and install 350 mods onto it and they all work, I would never just, I would never remove the game ever again. I would just keep it on there forever. I got robbed, which is not likely in the town. 60% of it's gone. Hmm. I'm not sure how about I f how how I feel about the two in real time weeks to learn the language and all that shit for ban war band role play. He, if he's a fugitive, like how? And he's aloof. Isn't there a... I guess Skyrim wouldn't have a mod pack that gives you everything, I guess. Right? Well now, stranger. Peace to you. Oh my god, the, the fucking the, the fucking faces. The f okay, what the fuck are you? That's his daughter, okay. They have? ECO. ECO stands for what? Marriage. There we can now have kids. The YouTuber. It's called ECO. I'm not sure if... Then again, I don't really watch a lot of... Bethesda Mother or YouTubers or whatever. Come on, fucking declare war on someone, please. Twenty-one percent chance. He also plays download. He does. Maybe I should like uh, like look at. Um, Similar channels, the analytics that YouTube gives you. It looks like we're going to war with Northerners. Let's see if we can snipe a lord or two or something. Why is this not clickable? Why doesn't it? I can tell that's what I'm blind. Gaiden. Yours is not a face I know. What is your So what you got bored of uh Imperion, Rome one, Rome two, Attila, and all of those? Then again, we didn't play Attila yet. What else did the... Uh, I mean, you can play him. Alright, you're, you're not into, into... Well, it's not a Twitch shooter, but like Hades. Yeah, see this? They split off their infantry into three squads. Either break from total war. Yeah, it makes sense. You wanna play it for it? Like, uh, I usually have. God, I'm gonna get wrecked here. Like, I play it in seasons, or more or less. Like, throughout the year, it's at the point I just go through and play most of the total war games and most of the Dark Souls games, beat them all. Every year. Kinda did stop doing that as of late, it does seem. I 
should just plop these behind them and just shoot the shit out of them. Like they are moving some if no, never mind. Wait a minute, that's a fucking peasant unit. It has more than hundred thirteen un HP. A oh, fuck off game. Fucking bullshit. So much for the infantry. are running away. I need farm up that influence. But maybe I should like save up. Yeah. Maybe like saving up influence and like starting up fraction in the faction and trying to get the king to abdicate or secession going and just saving up so I can support all the other clans so they may be you know go my way or the it goes my way could be an idea by the way, Sammy. Oh. Well, the 4090 and the 4080 are still better, but at least 7900 XTX is not gonna blow your PC up, eh? <laughs> or blow up, or or burn up. Oh, we have come to this point. <laughs> Buy this GPU, it's not gonna blow up or burn up or just die due to fucking cables. And it can actually fit in your PC for once. Okay. Guy in there. Soldiers! Troops! Sixty nine hundred. Yeah, you should be. You should still be fine. The, but I guess what monitor do you have? Do you have like a higher refresh rate monitor or just like sixty FPS? Hundred forty four. Mm. Can it run everything in the hundred forty four? Well, I guess the Skyrim is locked to 60 FPS, so it's not gonna matter. No, with mods? Yeah, I know there's a way to unlock the FPS and all that. Like, this is worth the hassle? Or does it break the, uh, like, um, physics and whatnot. Like I know Fallout 4 
You need to like lock it to. What was it? Uh, 72 FPS for it to run, you know, normal. Or some shit like that. Slab collection section. <laughs> oh, I know what the like 50, uh, like three out of the 350 mods for Skyrim 50 are the like things that change the game, and the other 300 are just lewd mods, right? Capacity <laughs> and this. Alec Bronze Noble Sword. 56 piercing damage, though. Hmm. Nah, I think I'll still... Uh... Yeah, we have two capes. Definitely worthwhile. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the Gladius. Because Gladius is the best. What are you doing? Gathering? What you? They're gonna be sieged out. They have a thousand troops. They should be fine. Especially if I take out all the opp opposition. What do you want, Street? Who are you? Okay, what do I? What would I need? I think I'll think that, no, that does fuck all. Um, it's been downloading for 20 or half nine. So that's 70%. What, Skyrim or the mods? I assume the mods, right? mods yes <laughs> the base game is like 20 gigabytes the mods are 100 gigabytes <laughs> i guess that's a good thing about the older games <laughs> the, the, the actual game is not that high but the mods are or it doesn't take that much but the mods are just enormous Why do surgeons have this many fucking horsemen? God damn. Soldiers! Soldiers in charge! Barbaros. Headshotted. See, I might start actually a bit more playthroughs uh, once I do finish up everything I need to do for college. Like the Dork Souls playthroughs. Those shouldn't take that long. I got pretty good at those games. Maybe even play a bit of Hades. Chill out a little bit. We'll play Knights of Honor again and just... Like I played it yesterday and I was like playing it uh, like until 6 in the morning. It's just like, ooh, I'm Scotland. Let me just take out the I Irish. Then, ooh, I'm Scotland. Let me just take out 